What is going on squad? Desk was here reporting with another wise build. If you're new to the channel and you're not sure what wise is, wise is basically will it stand or will I survive three horde nights? We'll be doing day seven, day 49, and day 7,000. While we and our build evolves with the days, basically bring you guys through the beginning of your gameplay to the end. So like always, 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 we're gonna go through the settings. Game world above hell. We're gonna be doing insane, nightmare, and 64 zombies. So let's go and charge into another one. We are back. Escape, escape. All right, so let's hurry up and go into DM. CM, and my mic's always in my way, and we're gonna get these basic challenges out of the way so we can get our skills up and going. I'll be right back, squad. All right, squad, we're back, and we picked a great place to build in. We're gonna be doing... <laughs> oh, my God. I was in job mode. Well, there's that. Off again we go. All right. So this time we're gonna try to build in the desert. With the wise video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to condense the build as short as possible. So if you guys have any questions, please leave those questions in the comments below. I'll be able to answer them, but we're not gonna take too much time. I'm gonna explain how to do the build. I'm gonna show a little bit of how to do the build, and then we're gonna basically test out all three Horde Nights, day seven, day 49, and day 7,000. Let's charge into the build. I'll be right back. Oh my good God. Got your arm. Most of this is me just surviving. I'll get this build done soon, I promise. All right, squad, for the time being, what we did is we made a seven by seven foundation. I know this seems like a lot so far, but it's relatively easy. We're gonna go up, we're nine. Nine high. We have the uh, plates on the side because this is actually going to be where we're going to have everything. At least our equipment and storage and so forth on that end. And this is basically the inside. I know it looks a little janky, but I'm going to get to the reasoning behind it. I'm going to be honest, this portion just came to me on this because we're trying to go 100% AFK. Meaning after our first AFK fails, we have a backup AFK where it should be no problem. We had a floor here, we had a floor here, but you guys are going to see the reason behind it here very shortly of why we don't need it. I did put one fourth blocks around the side and this nice staircase. In case we didn't want to stand here and that door broke, we do have a backup to go up top and basically there is a staircase that we can jump on and they cannot around our base. We went two out. Where we went from ground level here, right where you started going in, we went eight down into the ground. From our foundation level, we went down four blocks from the foundation. This should be 13. Seven by seven, 13 high. Nine high from the foundation, four below. What we're finishing up here is we're putting plates on the outside of the foundation. Basically, this is going to be the side of your base. Even though this is the entrance, this is gonna be the side. The front will be to the left of it. So we're going to go over here, and we're actually going to go out two more and down eight. Whenever you're doing this, do not put plates on this side until you put down the staircase, which I'll be showing here very shortly after I explain all this. Now, the other thing I want to explain is you do not need to put blocks going the whole way around. I would literally just put blocks on the top layer so the zombies aren't breaking anything underneath. And then you can put plates right here on the clay or the rock, but if you're building in the desert, I highly recommend to do what I did where you put the blocks down. Now you guys should know as much as I do that sandpaper is like a semen rag, very little durability. Once again, if you're building in the forest biome or anywhere else, this should not be a problem to put the plates right on that. But once again, if you're doing it in sand, please put the blocks down just to make sure you're not. 
the whole place isn't falling apart. So the only thing you really have to do for the plates on the outside though is match them up with the plates here. And obviously you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this. And this is the big weird surprise, right? This is gonna be the first portion of our AFK design. And oh yeah, it will be an AFK base for sure because they will have nowhere to go other than where we tell them to. We did put the staircase and I made this staircase as nice as possible. This is basically a hotel staircase. I want these zombies to feel like this is the Ritz Carlton. Like this is the Palms in Las Vegas. So whenever they see this staircase, they're gonna be like, holy shit, I need to go up there, right? That's what we're aiming for. So this staircase, we don't want them to get distracted down here. A couple things other than the staircase looking as superb as it does what we did is where the staircase is going to go you will need to put blocks on the staircase you can put stair the staircase along the side of the rock or the sand if they start beating that sand there's a possibility that that staircase could fall out which means that this whole thing was completely a waste all right squad so what we're doing right now is we're making the pyramid off of like alien versus predator like you remember at the very end the predators like fighting off just hordes and hordes of aliens that's what we're doing right here i mean mine is obviously better and it's not a pyramid so there's like a couple slight differences between obviously the movie and my pyramid staircase it's only half a pyramid which is like not really a pyramid at all but it's still badass because the zombies need it the zombies need to see what will get them to heaven you know, they need to, right before they take the dive into hell, they need the staircase to heaven, right? They need to balance the yin and the yang. So the very last thing we're going to do is, obviously, we're going to go to our favorite shape here. Our favorite one. Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to have to do it the other side, guys. We're going to have to do it the other way. All right, squad. All f***ing right. Look at this. Look at this. Look at me. Look at this. Almost done. Almost there. Oh, almost there. If you guys have some holes down here, you guys can definitely put some dirt in it or leave it as is. I don't think it's going to really be a big deal. As of right now, we're not going to worry about this. We're going to leave this alone. We're going to keep everything as is. We're not going to finish the inside until day 49, basically just getting everything ready for day 49, day 7,000. Once again, this is going to be an evolution, so everything doesn't have to be done or ready on day seven. We just need enough done where the horde base is effective and kicking ass. I'll be right back, squad. Stand by. We are back, day seven, Horde Night Squad. We have nothing on us, because we are assuming the best is going to happen, right? Why would we not? We're pretty, pretty awesome superstars here. Our armor, nothing. We're gonna go into our skills. I really just invested into intellect. We're trying to get our robotic inventor up, because that's going to be important for our AFK base, like always. We have everything pretty much we're, we're like snails. We're like very intelligent s snails. That's, I don't know, my best comparison. We are level 16, game stage 26. We are about half an hour away from Horde Night. I'm gonna go over the quick modification that I made to the base. I implemented the half block on here to basically help us with deterring the G-spot from getting hit. Now, obviously that's down the road. We don't have to worry about that anytime soon. We cut one, one fourth block out to add that half block. And then basically just continued our way over here. Making this nice little hole. Hopefully they fall through. We shall see. It is seven minutes till Horde Night. And uh, I got it, the place pretty pretty much lit up for you guys. Hopefully you can see. Here we go. See, I like that. The guys who want to beat the walls are getting pushed by the people who just want to beat my I like it. Now we got two who's beating the walls. 
see if uh, Nurse Samantha over here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is kind of lovely. This is kind of lovely. Come on, reach for the. Yep, reach up that skirt. I know what you're trying to do with the robotic. I know what you're trying to do. And let's take a look at what's going on down here. Oh yeah, you guys run right back up those steps. Who needs the Stairmaster when we got this? You guys are welcome. These zombies don't have to thank anyone but me for you guys staying in shape. You're welcome. No, well, he knows what was up. Nope, you're gonna have your. Oh yeah, your friends are gonna beat you right off that. Don't you hit? Don't you stay there too long? That's right. Push them on off. Yeah, that party girl really wants to beat something. It ain't no walls. All right, guys. I don't see anything else happening from this point on. We are at 10, third, 1040. So I'm basically going to fast forward this to save a lot of time, obviously, with our, our video here. I don't want to keep you guys watching a 45-minute video. So I'll be right back with you guys. Stand by for day 49 evolution to the base and Horde Night. So the AFK failed on day seven. We're gonna give it two more minutes here. All right. I'm not disappointed. I needed to learn. So we'll make those improvements on day 49. So once again, not disappointed. I'm happy that it happened. So we know this is a weak point. And obviously this is great because a lot of them push each other off. But after so many falls, I think that they get tired of the bullshit. And they basically all just start going off their after blocks. All right, we're going to go to pros, cons. And this is going to be rather quick. So for day seven, obviously that was a fail. They did get to us. So AFK wise, that's a no-go. But overall, the base was very effective. It definitely lasted until about one 12, 115, somewhere around there. And then we had to actually go back in our body and help out. Pros, definitely nice and strategic. Along with that, you don't have to fire at all. But obviously the con is, as of right now, they are gang banging that one side. Overall, even with this base failing, I still got a rate it and we're actually going to do a star rating 
as of right now with it standing it made it the almost the entire night and until the very end where they did focus on one block and got through i'll probably end up having to give this base a two and a half star i'll see you guys in the wise 49 build Standby squad. Welcome back squad. We are on the evolution of day 49 horde base. So let's take a look at what we did, shall we? We're going to start from the inside. You might be wondering what the f is going on here, dust tools. I have no idea why you covered your floors and hatches. This is going to be a new thing. I don't know if it's a 100% a new thing, but I'm going to make it a new thing where every single person and their brothers and their mothers who don't even play Seven Days to Die is going to be like, I want to do this, right? But we are going to go a little bit further on day 7,000. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's going to be an AFK base on top of an AFK base. So if you guys already have that small little light bulb going off, oh, yeah, I'll show you guys that here soon. We're going to close this up because as of right now, we don't need these open. This is just a precaution on top of precaution, right? Right. If you want to be jolly old Roger over here and you want to you want to slap some titties and some ass and some balls, then here you go, right? Go ahead and get that XP all you want. That's what you guys saw. Basically, it's a free fall right to the bottom. We're going to go over that as well. Let's close this up. We got our turret still sitting here. Now, I made a couple changes to the pathway. Instead of the pathway going completely straight, we move the one fourth block going at an angle, going at an angle again, and we have our second turn on a one and a half block right here. And we also put plates on the side. We're just being extra cautious. I don't want to take another chance of what happened on day seven. So we added some plates just in case a demo goes off, a cop explodes, something along those lines. Oh my good gracious. Well, okay, so we'll go over this since I forced myself to do so. So we are 14 from the ground level down. We went down an extra 10 down through the ground here. Look how awesome that is. Look how awesome, guys. Look how awesome. Staircase, once again, we implemented. We put the blocks on the side. So if any of this sandpaper falls off or any of this iron falls apart anything like that we are going to be golden like pony boy guys we really didn't add anything day seven was basically our hardest day of setting this all up this is basically all we have right now i'm going to show you one more thing and this is just going to be a little precaution on top of precaution we even got this but this is going to be where our craft and storage area is i do not actually fear that this base is going to fall on the ground but i should watch what i say because i jinx myself more than anyone in this world so this is all i wanted to go over with you guys basically what we're going, going to go into now is we're going to go to day 49 horde night once again we're doing insane difficulty nightmare mode zombies and 64 for a blood moon count so stand by squad we're about to charge into a hard one let's go Welcome back, squad. We are on day 49. I'm not going through everything that we already went through. Blah, 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 Horde Knight. What I'm going to do, everything's the same. We haven't made any different modifications except for one. I'm going to hurry up and show you guys that. Everything's the same outside. But we are going to test and see how well this second portion works. We need to see if the aggro changes because what's the point of having this if it doesn't work, right? Now, I was thinking, here's the only bad side, the cops. If the cops can see me, they're going to shoot up, and they're definitely going to break those hatches as well. And we don't have the resources or the time in order to make something that the cops will not focus on. So for the time being, we're going to hide off in the corner. So let's hurry up and go into our guy. He's completely naked. Along with that, we have skill points. Everything's just an in intellect, and along with that robotic inventor. And very last but not least, we are level 55, game stage 118. So, let's get out of our corporeal body over here and look at our floating torches, just like Harry Potter had. Gotta be like Harry Potter, guys. Let's see if their aggro changes. We're about to get it. I think that was a vulture. Sound like one. Oh, right, there it is. Oh, we got a couple. All right. We'll probably have to incorporate three 
We'll have to incorporate s some defenses up there, obviously, right? Four! You guys ain't around. All right, so the aggro is a little bit different on this one. Any cops fall down yet? I gotta see if that's happening. So the one fell down. Okay, he's running back up, so that's good, that's good. I wonder how much damage they do. So we'll have to incorporate something for the top. Let's see what this cop does. He landed somewhat underneath the base. All right, we're good there. It might have been a one and only thing, like, you know, one cop did it. I might have been in the right space at the right time. The cop just shot at me. Might have happened. Not sure, though. So, one thing that I would change, guys, is please end up making a ladder up to that top and putting some spikes up there. Or if you want to, if you guys have, like, a an automatic weapon, SMG or the shotgun, put it up there. Take care of the birds, at least. The reason why I forgot about that just to kind of give myself a little bit of, of a defense. I don't know if you guys noticed it as well, but almost if the zombies are able to get to you, the vultures don't spawn. It's only whenever you're out of arm length, basically like on a bu uh, bike, vehicle, or something along those lines, high up in the air where they can't get you, where this vultures will spawn. It's something in the AI now that the vultures only spawn whenever you're out of reach or something along those lines. I'm pretty sure that's, that's how the... the Algorithm is set up for the AI. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. What time is it? All right, so we're an hour in. I'm going to shut my dirty mouth here. We're going to watch and see what happens. I'm gonna fast forward this crap. And along with that, if anything happens, we'll stop. I'll put my two cents in. You guys probably won't listen. But hey, over <laughs> overall, I'm gonna shut my mouth. I'll be right back, squad. <laughs>
dare disturbs me from my slumber. Well, let's see how much. Ooh, we're close. Real close. Alright. Let's go uh, get these boys and girls. Ooh, now they're shooting at me, guys. I was right. I was right. No, I don't have any armor on. This might not be the smartest option. But guess what? I'll be damned to let them get the best of me. Right. Get out of my face. You ever hear Goku? Yeah. Even he's afraid of me. Yeah. Eat. Ooh, eat. Eat! That's right. All the cool kids with the pumped up kicks. Anyone hiding? Better not be. Let's try and go over the damages here. Big, big negative right here, but we can fix that. We already have an idea, so that's good. We know that that's not gonna work. Um, good here, good here. Now, this is kind of pointless now because, I mean, they know we're upstairs. And this is the shortest path to the tower. This is probably just going to happen multiple times. We're going to have to figure out a way. Definitely put down some uh, more plates. We're probably going to end up moving this out over here. Just so we can punch some turds against the wall. And if they are going to be uh, getting breaking walls and so forth, it will be right here. And hopefully they just fall from that point anyways. So, once again, even if that happens, that's why we have the uh, second AFK inside. And then the birds did their disrespectful climb up here. But other than that, guys, uh, damage-wise, we have that area and the rooftop. Everything else looks pretty freaking solid. We got some damage down here because it looks like they got a little bit nervous and started digging a little bit down. We'll fix that up. We'll uh, probably end up putting some blocks underneath the stair. Ooh, staircase where the bottom is going to be now day 7000 we're actually going to be putting this to bedrock so there's that all right squad we're going to judge that day 49 horde i'm gonna go over the pros cons overall it was just like day seven we survived very little problems but i don't like what happened pro we survived the base held up even with us being on the second story they knew what they had to do to get to me. So, overall, pro, solid AFK base, can definitely make it through the night. Cons, with us being on the second layer, it's going to cause birds, which means that if you guys are going to implement this as soon as possible, if you're going to be hiding in your second story, or if you want to take them on from the bottom. If you're taking them on from the bottom, you probably don't have to worry about the birds. But, just as a precaution, make sure you put automatic turrets up top, at least something electrical where you're shooting some of the birds out of the sky the other con is because we're upstairs and we're hiding like badasses they're going to the shor shortest point to the tower and they're basically beating the blocks from that point the other thing is is that as soon as the cops know that we hit that area they're shooting that acid spit it's a, it's a little bit of a con if you're going to be striking these. You could probably put down where you're going to be standing. You could probably put concrete block right here if you want to. Just so if you are beating some ball sacks and good old tits, you're not getting that acid spit on you. But if they know that you're on hatches or on that, if there's any way they can visibly see you, they're going to be spitting. So... If you are going to be uh, meleeing it up, make sure you put a solid block right there. Other than that, we're going to rank day 49. Once again, we didn't get any damages. There was a couple situations that we were not prepared for, and we should have been prepared for them, but it is what it is. We're given a four star because the build did its job at the end. We're not going any higher than that because it did take damage, and we do not like it taking damage. But that's why we designed the base like we did. We're going to try to do better, though. All right, guys, we're going to jump into day 7,000. I'll see you guys on the other side. Stand by, squad. Hey, guys. Oh, where's the chipper testicles at? <clears throat> well, I don't even know where my other uh, turret went to. Probably died. I did the biggest rookie mistake. I tell you guys, upgrade from the bottom. 
the upgrade from the bottom. What did I do? I upgraded from the freaking top. I made a drop. Before you guys do anything, make sure even if it... I got lucked out whenever I did the concrete because I did the same exact thing whenever I upgraded concrete, which literally made me feel invincible. So, just a heads up, if you're new to 7 Days to Die or if you're just newer to building, please do yourself a favor. Upgrade the plates first on the side. Upgrade your other plates. I don't have time for you. We're going over valuable lessons right now, okay? Upgrade these plates, and then from there, work your way up. Don't be like Duskulls. Duskulls heart hurts. All right, Scott, what I'm basically adding in here just real quick before I get to building the rest of this and us going over it. I don't want to take up too much time here. I'm not sure how far along I am in this video, but I am trying to speed this along for you guys. What we're incorporating just to give us that little bit of extra sturdiness in case we want to add a third level, which I do. We're going to this. Now, overall, if the zombies land here, they can't go anywhere else. So I'm not really too worried about if they fall on this. We shall see. A lot of times I'm wrong about everything in my life. So I'll be right back, squad. All right, squad. Welcome back. Took me a long time. Took me a very long time. We're going to go over the like, slight modifications that I made to the base. Things might look a little bit different, but overall we're going to touch base on all that I've done. And then we're going to jump into day 7,000 Horde Night. All right. So we have powered hatches because I love that shit as our trap door this is our entrance to the top these are manual because you know you need to get out or run out of gas suck and we're gonna go outside this is manual as well we are double blocked right here and we have some plates around here this is in case any demos were tempted to uh rupture on my base to uh paste their whitey sploosh all over my door so we're good there. Now overall, what I've done a little bit differently is I made a little bit slight modification. We are gonna, we're gonna try to have no damage this word night. I am going to be uploading a finalized version of what my base would look like out of this AFK and that is actually a recommendation from Space Wolf. So thank you, buddy. We'll be doing a day 7,000, what my base would look like, final production, and I'll go over a quick build on what I've done. But overall, we're going to look at what's going on down here. We are at bedrock. And for our staircase here, my cat keeps rubbing me. We definitely, once again, we're blocking the under portion of the staircase. We do not want them to break it. This is the most valuable resource that we have. Our base, I guess, is the second. But we need the staircase in order for Horde Knight to continue. Loopy, 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 you know, loop, loop around. So I guess you could implement a little bit more frames around the, the staircase. I just want to make sure the staircase doesn't fall, right? So that might be something we touch base on on our final production. This is the other thing that we did. We, just in case, kind of give us a little bit more extra support we did put a second layer here so basically all sides are attached and along with that we didn't add that third layer that's something i'll probably end up doing into our final upgrade so now that guys that's all i've done we did put a couple plates here once again i am a little bit nervous about demos exploding we're going to basically get away from a lot of the cop damage and spit this might 100 percent be i know we had a little bit of learning curves on day 7 and day 49 but I think we might be hitting a crucial 100% AFK no damage horde base. But once again, I can't say that. I don't want to jinx myself. We did put two shotgun turrets at the top just in case we get any birdies flying around outside. Other than that, we're going to get everything set up here. All right, squad, we are on day 7,000. We're about five mics away from horde night. Don't want that button. Once again, no clothing, no armor. We did not... <laughs> spent any points and we are level 300 game stage 720 here we go
This is going beautifully. I don't even have any comments right now. Any birdies? Of course. Wherever I put defenses up, no birdies. We're going to check the underneath. We almost had a crotch splitter right there. <laughs> oh, man. I thought I had three cops just kind of minding the view here in hell. Oh, this looks good. Oh, guys. I think this is our final product. Our finish and pr final product. Look at this. This is beautiful. I'm actually proud of myself. I've done myself. What about this? I hope they do break it. I hope they do break it. Once again, guys, right before I disappear, my face goes. <laughs> we are on day 7,000. We are doing 64 zombies for a blood moon count, insane and nightmare mode. So, I'm expecting some more stuff to happen. This is a lot of zombies on this door frame. And like I said, I will, if they don't break through this, I will sabotage myself. Because we need to make sure that this is going to work. All right? All right, squad. I will be back if anything were to happen. I'm going to enjoy the yeeting and I guess this wonderful, wonderful flip moon. I'll be right back, squad.
just replace those before Horde Night 2 and they keep falling out. So there might be a little bit of a glitch going on there. Okay, let's get everything back up here so we're able to walk around. This worked out perfectly. Cop did explode, caused some damage. Definitely took out my stuff and things. Torches. Okay, they didn't get through the first bracket, but they definitely got through the hatch. So I didn't even have to sabotage. That was like within the hour. Oop, we're not going down there yet. Oh my god, I guess we are. Alright, so we don't have... I'm going to end up probably moving the turret. Good, no damage here. How do these all hold up? Got to have the pathway still good. Good, 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 good. Okay, took a little bit of damage here at the end. Okay. Now, a couple other things that we're going to do is we're going to make a double, double wide staircase going up, and we're also going to put some corners wrapping around so the zombies don't have to beat too much. Some were still able to get up here, but, you know, that doesn't work with all of them. Only some of them are rocket scientists, right, guys? So, we're good. I mean, that sucks too. But, I mean, keeping them down at the bottom of bedrock, it's not going to do anything to us. I mean, other than for the uh, hatch going down and the staircase breaking at the bottom, I, I would say it's 100% a successful Horde Knight. 100% successful Horde Knight. Okay, let's go up here where it's nice and bright. All right, squad. So we went through day seven, day 49, and day 7,000. We made improvements and modifications to every Horde Knight. We're gonna hurry up and give a rating to day 7,000. I would probably end up doing this, but now the one thing I wanna apologize for before anyone else mentions it, I know I ended up shooting a few rounds, I 100% should have just initiated those hatches at the beginning because they have nowhere else to go, but I wanted to test it because where's we have to test things out, guys. So I do want to apologize for me shooting rounds, but overall, you guys know, even if you were to incorporate this, whenever Horde Night does occur, you can just leave those hatches open. The only time you really need the hatches down is wherever you're leaving the base. So... As I said, it's a 4.5 pros and cons. Pros, 100% AFK base. I really don't have too many pros to say about this. If they're falling in the bottom of hell, bedrock, they're not getting back out. Even if they were to break the staircase, I know there might be a little bit of boos and ahs and everything along those lines. Uh, if they broke stuff, it's fine. Overall, they have nowhere to go. They could dig up all they want. They can put fistful of dirt and rock in their mouth. I could care less. I don't care if they beat, beat each other off down there. I could care less if, if people were freaking shoving their dicks in their mouths. Don't care. They're down there. I'm up here. So that's just basically taking more off the plate. Along with that, that secondary AFK portion worked perfectly because now we have 64 zombies beating on only one portion of this base. It's going to go down regardless. I could easily put another hatch, but once again, they're going to get through that. All it's going to do is prolong it. We'll end up moving maybe the turrets side by side and try to get a lot of those zombies off that door a little bit more. And along with that, probably to end up taking a lot less damage. Cons, staircase broke at the very bottom. We'll end up implementing a double wide staircase. Along with that, we're going to put corners at the bottom. It's just so none of those rocket scientist zombies get too nervous down there. We'll give them a direction to go to. Don't worry about that. They won't get confused again. The other con is they broke through that hatch super quick. It's okay. It's expected. No other portion of the base was damaged, which was phenomenal. There was a little bit of damage, a little bit of nut tapping going on wherever they entered that hatch. They had nothing else to do. I get it. A little bit of party sensations going on, a little bit of flashing lights. They got, they got excited. But overall, con-wise, other than me literally having to shoot a couple rounds because I needed to test if they were going to come in with them being up first and down. Overall, I take the responsibility of firing. I did not need to fire. But once again, this is testing. So with us moving into the final phase of this base, which will be pushed out here very shortly, we know what we can expect. We know what we can do. And we know what we need to change. So con-wise, 
There is very little other than them breaking the hatch super fast and the stairs at the very bottom. If you guys saw any other cons, let me know in the comments below. Along with that, the uh, the robotic turrets were in different areas, but we'll get that all straightened out. I am trying to get a five star rating with this base. Other bases are hit or miss. I will end up doing a wise video on the tower poo shoot. So once again, we're gonna try to get that rating up a little bit higher too. Overall guys, I really did enjoy this base and I hope you guys are able to use it. Enjoy the game to your liking instead of having the devs control the way you play this game. So hopefully this should be one of the best AFK horde bases just best horde base other than jaw woodle jaw woodle i get it you're you're a weird scientific guy who came from mars i get it dude 100 percent. you deserve props sooner or later i will be trailing you yes. now i'll come up with something that you did not even think about. this is where we'll go through the whole spiel overall guys if you enjoyed that video go ahead and beat your face on that like button if you're new and you want to check out my other content, there's a shit ton. Along with that, if you're enjoying this and you're new to the channel and you have not already done so, go ahead and beat your face on that sub button. Oh yes. Oh yes. If you've done everything below, why don't you go ahead and join our Discord? Our community and server is waiting for you. Other than that squad, this is where I'll take a little bit of R&R &R so we can charge into another one. This is Destacles, signing off. Charge down!